don't think there's any evidence that these processes just stop or turn off these are resistance. I think these are sort of inherent in the nature of the blood vessels of tumors. Uh, the resistance mechanisms, if at all, could be more on the target side of mTOR. And that has, of course, been published in terms of, you know, you have a TORC1 pathway, TORC2, and that with the known mTOR, the approved mTOR inhibitors, it's sort of well recognized that, you know, inhibiting TORC1 can uh, kick off the TORC2 pathway where, you, you know, then we we'll get back to AKT and this loop, feedback loop that causes resistance. But uh, there's also information that suggests that when you have very high drug levels at the tumor and at the site of action, that those resistance pathways uh, are not that effective. And we think that's one of the reasons why we see the tackle effect with our drug. Okay, Andrew, um, you want to go to the Picoma slides? <coughs> So uh, moving on to the trials itself, you know, uh, by the way, any, any other questions before we talk about the, the registration trial for the common? Okay, great. Okay, so the is an ultra rare sarcoma and uh, the epidemiology is not fully understood yet just because of the nature of its uh, rarity. Uh, but we estimate roughly about 100, 100 to 300 patients, um, uh, you know, that uh, on an incident basis. Um, this tumor can arise at any uh, site in the body. Uh, or the key factor that describes it is really its association with, um, you know, that it's perivascular, so around the, the vascular bed. And it has uh, epithelial characteristics. And so it's its own entity that's recognized by the WHO uh, and, in, and in the sarcoma, the subtypes of sarcoma. Uh, and uh, it can be extremely aggressive in its malignant form. And you know, based on the literature, estimated survival, you know, 12 to 16 months. And as I mentioned, there's odd case reports here and there, at least at the time that we started our trial, that showed that uh, there were mutations uh, in the mTOR pathway and that mTOR uh, is a driver in this disease. <clears throat> so standard of care is typical for sarcoma, which is chemotherapy, or in the uh, more sort of academic centers, uh, now people use mTOR off-label uh, to treat um, uh, the colon. Um, Andrew, next slide. <coughs> So as I mentioned, you know, we negotiated this study with the FDA early on, and they agreed on a 30-patient study for approval. Uh, and uh, the, the end point was a target of R of 30% uh, uh, in about 30 patients. Basically, the, the, uh, the hurdle that we had to cross was the lower bound of the 95% CI. Uh, being in excess of 14.7% or 15%. So uh, we reported this data last year, and we hit an independent review, independent radiology review a response rate of 39%. So we met our endpoint. Um, the mean duration of response at that point of that data cutoff was not yet reached because many of the responders were still on in treatment, you know, more than two years and more than three years. And so it was at that point, um, it was in excess of about 26 months. And obviously that number continues to change because the patients are on, on treatment. And, and then the median PFS, uh, again, not mature at that time, but we reported it as 8.9 months at, at that time. And, and so that was the data set that's public at this point. And um, so the, we filed the NDA uh, we've met the primary endpoints, and then we're currently in, in NDA review with the FDA with a ADUFA date of November 26. Uh, that's um, public information at this point. So as far as the data itself,